Pa 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 Greetings to all of my advanced automotive students. Today we have a 2008 GMC Acadia. This bad boy came in because it is winking at us. Okay, bad joke. AKA feeds a headlight bulb on the driver's side, the left side of the vehicle. Uh, now, some of these have been known to uh, making you have to go up through the inner fender well on this. We're gonna try not to have to do that. We do have a little bit of space way back up, up underneath here that we can get at the headlight assembly. Um, so I'm gonna kind of time lapse this thing as we go and cut this video. And uh, we're gonna try to access this headlight right here by just removing uh, probably this top cowling right here. So we just gotta pull a couple of clips and see if we can actually gain access to it. Stay tuned. Upon further investigation, I've discovered that I cannot access it from inside here. I just do not have small enough hands, which is why I wish you guys were still here. So I have to take off all of these in order to get up inside of here to get at the headlight bucket at the very back of it. Ugh. All right, fast forward to where I get all of that. This cool little inner fender well portion, which GM was smart enough to actually split in half. And now I have gained access to the back of the headlight pod in itself. Now this had a little cap that screwed in place. Uh, I took that off already, so I'm gonna try to fit my fat fingers inside of here. And, oh, maybe. Oh, there we go. Bad headlight bulb right there. I'm just gonna quickly go and unclip this, clip the new one in, reinstall, and then do everything in reverse. Now, you'll be able to tell that this one has failed, uh, partially because the wire filament inside of here is not whole anymore, and this actually got so hot that it started to melt the glass and bubble it. This one here has a full wire. You can see the little coil wire in there. Now, one thing to be very cautious of when you get this new bulb is do not put your fingers on the glass put your fingers on the glass it can leave oil residue and which will cause the bulb itself to overheat from that oil think about like frying in an oil pan like your fish chicken anything like that really poor analogy but either way don't touch the glass if you do touch the glass make sure that you clean it off with something that doesn't leave a residue on it reassembled good to go shut the hood last thing is that we have to torque down the wheels to approximately a hundred foot pounds using our clicker torque wrench that's your lesson on how to replace a headlight bulb in a 2008 GMC Acadia <laughs>